Hey guys, this is the Oval Season 4, I believe, episode 22. Man, that was a good-ass episode from last night. I enjoyed every bit of it. No, I forgot to comb my hair, and I'll take care of that later. But, yeah, um, we're going to start off with Richard and Nancy, because Nancy was still hanging on the door. Still don't know how she did it, but... Richard finally got her down because he gave her a CPR and called the paramedic and saying that she's in distress. And the fact that he didn't want to leave her side, he didn't want to get up and get the door and run downstairs to get the door. He told him, break down the door. Because he wasn't planning on taking out Chansey. Because he didn't want to lose Nancy, even despite that she slept with someone else. He still loved her. He wasn't going to forgive her at first, but he had to move on. He don't want to lose her. And the fact that they, the police came, and they came because of Barry's body, that they find his possession, his phone, and his wallet and stuff. What the fuck? What's going on with my laptop, guys? Just keep going off. Sorry about that, guys. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. So... What I was saying, oh, that's when he um started that panic and saying that he's not leaving her, he's not leaving her, just yelling at the top of his lungs. He just don't want to lose her. And what happened was, what happened was, the payment did show up and they took her down the stairs, you know, saying the stress it came and stuff. Trying to make us all this light toss I can wear. I gotta get a new one. Seriously. Something's not right. So, what I was saying. Oh, okay, then we get. To, I'm just gonna go all around, jump all around because I don't normally do this by orders. And. Okay, we got Sharon and Dale in the kitchen talking. And the police want to know what happened. And she kept saying that. She basically saying that um she was held against her will amid the fact that she was, you know, self defense. She knocked him out. I don't know, but people say he can be dead because we didn't see the body badge yet. I didn't see him in the body bag. Unless they plan on putting him in the body bag because they show him and they'll tell her not to say anything else because they'll say that Kareem would never kill Barry. And that's the truth. He didn't kill him. No matter how annoying he is, he um did not kill Barry. And she think that Kareem killed her ex-boyfriend. I don't know why she said boyfriend when Barry is the one that broke up with um broke up with Sharon because Sharon slept with Kareem. And we found out that Kareem probably was the one that Sharon met before she met Barry. So then the police end up taking him downtown. Why they put him in cuffs? Then that's the case. So what happened was that they put him in cuffs, took him downtown to the station, and of course we got to see um Mona when Eli was talking to um I don't know who you talking to because he wasn't talking to Victoria this time. That was last episode, and she can't wanna know. Who was that on the phone you was talking to? Because she said, she said that I heard a female's voice. And he still won't tell her. He's still trying to deny that nothing happened between him and Victoria. And she's just going to get in the bottom of this. And let's not forget, she went to put on her street clothes for the first time. And that's what happened. Like, Eli didn't want to talk about it no more, saying that, he, you know, she's how many? She said she had a couple more. They had a big house and a couple rooms. You can sleep in it because she don't want him in the bed with her. Especially, especially, she upset what happened between her and another woman. Cause we know it's Victoria that he slept with. That they've been smashing each other since day one. So that was that with them. We didn't see Bobby Officer in this episode. And I think that's about it. We didn't see Lily. Because you remember Lily did escape when Ryan shot Donald more than once. 
We know he's dead. No way. He's alive for that. So, um, anything else? That's when we see Nancy and the grunt and the gurney, and Jody want to know what I think that's the name. She want to Joyce. I think that's the name. She want to know what happened to Nancy. Richard said, "Not now, not now." I tell you on. I tell you when I get back. I tell you, cause he wanted to go with her in the house in the ambulance. He said you could follow them, because Richard didn't want to lose Nancy. Like, he don't have time for a conversation. He basically, the officer basically broke it down and the officer tell Nancy, tell Jordan to mind your business and just, she is my business. She's my neighbor. And they were both emotional after they found that Barry was dead when he found, when they found his possession. So what happened was, um, he stopped breaking down crying, and she said, oh, Lord, Lord, they were both breaking down crying. And, of course, she decided to go with them to the hospital, well, to the station for the other to identify his body. And, of course, they went to the hospital. They're going to be going to the hospital afterwards. And then we see Shan at the police station. And the president, Hunter, uh, President Franklin, a.k.a. Hunter, Called Sharon, told him he want to see her. Told him, yeah, he said he want to see her while he was up there dancing, and his ass all getting high, drinking and stuff. That the fact when Victoria told him, you not leaving this White House, and had Alonzo try to put on his disguise. That dude did not like the wig was horrible, was really goofy. He didn't like it. Hunter realized it was he looked horrible, and he. Got on all black, want to go out and have fun. And the man don't care about anything because she threatened to call his father-in-law, a.k.a. her father, and saying that he don't give a fuck. He said, I am not fire. Oh, I can do what I want. And you, yeah, you're a president. You can't just leave wherever you feel like it. That's not what the president does. That's why they had security do that. And, you know... We know um, that's when Victoria was calling um, Alonzo, told him, if, you, if he do leave the office, he do leave this White House, I will cut your joints off because he did ask him, do you love your joint? And say, he said yes. She did say she would cut it off. And you could tell she's not bluffing. And... That's when the um this that's when the secret server told Victoria that the second lady here to see you, and she said, "I'm not supposed to see her till tomorrow." And of course, she not you can't talk her out of it because she definitely wants some answer. Who was the hell what Eli was messing with? Because Mona already know. She know that that was Victoria's ears, earrings. Maybe she think that Victoria wouldn't go down that way. And Victoria even said, you don't know me. She said, I know everything about you. You're a hood rat that dress up like a classy woman. And boy, did he, she talk about her hygiene and stuff, about her vagina part area. And Eli have a mole or something like that that she licking and kissing. She... I know they're jumping ahead, just jumping and saying that they've been having sex around before the campaign, that he'd been having an affair while she was pregnant. That was, that was crazy as fuck. Crazy how this shit happened just like that. And, of course, that's when she came to attack her and beat the shit out of Victoria. But Victoria did start getting up in hand as well. And then she smashed her head on the table and... They went off the balance though. They both went off. Looked like Simone was going to try to catch us, trying to hold herself up, but she ended up falling too. That was the end of the episode. Then the fact that Alonzo was trying to call Carl so many times, Carl won't answer the phone because he was busy doing the stakeout, trying to get, um, basically telling Kane what they had to do to take down Jason and David. Speaking of which, we see David and David saying, I've been in the battle longer than you have. I said, apparently you you was being sloppy with that. And Jason, even we feel some type of way about him, he knows exactly what he's talking about because he know how to escape, that nobody don't know. 
he know how to escape the different way. Remember how he um find himself in Gail's room and then the and then the rest room? The man is like a freaking secret service or a ninja. I'm just gonna say he like a ninja. Cause the fact that he knew how to get out of here the other way without them being spot. They got out and uh, I think it was a dirt bike or a motorcycle. I'm gonna say it was a dirt bike. And they was um the fight they fly him out. They threw a flame in the bottle. They got out just in time. But Joe looked like Joe looked like he was in the back. I said, dude, you should be the one that's driving. You should be driving. Why Jason is driving? Jason got away. I don't think David got away. Cause they shot him. Don't know he was wearing a vest or not. And we see the ball head. So it had to be, I'm going to say, well, I guess we have to see what happened next season. Cause this was the last season, by the way. No matter how much I enjoyed this episode, it was awesome. Um, we know a hunter did, um, did, um, damn, what is that one? It's like I came in. Yeah. He overdosed. This man overdosed in the office. Fish fell out. Calling Alonzo. And yeah. And that's when Ellie and Alonzo talk. And of course, Alonzo told Ellie, you should let me keep it all. And of course, um, Ellie would not got arrested. He would not got arrested. And I feel like Bobby J say might have a good point because I think it was a setup too, the way it looked like. Oh, I could be wrong. Ellie got arrested and they didn't dap each other, you know. The fact that um Sam and Max was talking and he basically was talking about the dub puzzle, but he said never mind because Max, I don't think he was gonna tell him because he know how Sam is that what happened with him and Sam before between Bobby and Sam. I think even we find out that Sam knows that Barry's dead, or two, that Priscilla must have sent it to punish Sam to make him suffer. Even he made one mistake for sleeping with, not, not sleeping, for having sex with Victoria. Man, all that stuff that, he to, that she told Simone really puts her over the edge. But yeah, guys, I enjoyed this season finale. It was good where it was. But that's all I gotta say. Don't forget to like the video and share this video. I wanna know what's gonna happen tonight on Sisters. Alright guys, peace.